Adrenaline in his soul and ink in his pen. Cody Rhodes has committed his future to the WWE for the next few years in a deal that will see him go beyond his 40th birthday. Welcome back, guys, to For Wrestling. It is official. Cody Rhodes has signed a new multi-year contract extension with the WWE, and this is a deal that will push back Cody Rhodes' retirement plan. He originally said he was going to retire at 40. This contract would put him wrestling till at least 41. So, looks like Cody Rhodes has gone back on age 40. WWE are pushing this guy like crazy. A bit weird that they're planning on pushing someone as the next top guy when he could literally just walk away in a year's time. But either way, he signed a new deal. I guess he's had second thoughts. You look at his brother, Dustin, wrestling way into his 50s. I think Cody Rhodes is in good shape right now. He doesn't look like he's slowing down. 40 is relatively young for a wrestler as well. In today's generation, hell, a lot of these guys are barely just getting called up from NXT by the time they're 40. So I don't think Cody Rhodes' future is or his career is by any means done. But you know what, maybe he just doesn't want to wrestle forever. Maybe he wants to hit 40, then leave and do other things, enjoy the family life, go and, I don't know, cuddle with his dog at home. He is six days away from defeating Roman Reigns, right? Who's had a four-year title reign, and he wants to give it up. He potentially wants to give it up. I know he's changed his mind here, but he's got the wrestling world in the palm of his hand, and he wants to just throw it away. Well, maybe he thinks that once he gets to 40 or something, he can negotiate a yeah, part-time contract. Just just because he's negotiating, he, he could still retire. No, he could, I. So it's not like a... Is that not a way to get rid of a contract, though? What if you just say? Well, I yeah. suppose you'd be losing out on it, wouldn't you? Like, I mean, you'd be... Yeah, I know, but like when Austin and Michaels retired, I doubt they retired and they had to wait to the last day of their contract, which was fittingly WrestleMania, but no. Here. He's far too young to retire, but if he wanted to, that's the thing though, if he wanted to retire in the mid-card, fair enough, but I mean, look at him, look at the way he's being booked, why would you retire? But do you not think this is another example of just WWE, all their top stars being too old? Where's the young blood yeah, in this company? This seems, this doesn't seem normal. Where is the young blood in this company? Nowhere. In terms of like main event talents, Cody Rhodes is one of the younger ones. No, but the way Cody Rhodes is booked, like you would, you would think that this guy's like 30. The way they talk about him, oh, he's Dusty's son, finish the story. I mean, the reality is, this guy's at an age where the story should have been finished about a decade ago. Yep. And who knows, maybe he won't finish the story and he'll start a new story, midlife crisis. He's, no, but he's been in WWE, what, 17, 17 years? Well, he's been wrestling for 17 years when he debuted in WWE. I mean, that's a long-ass time, man. You can't... That's... I mean, 17 years in the wrestling business, you should be near enough done. He should be looking to retire, but he's, he's not even won a world title. Oh, but he didn't want to win it in AEW. What a shite. I mean, 17 years, I mean, come on. Like, we always talk about Rock and Austin did so much and so little. This, this guy is like every other indie guy. Now, albeit, yeah, see in a couple of days' time, he's going to win the big one, the Mania main event, but a lot of people don't get that luxury. See, in wrestling nowadays, it's, it's almost like if you stick around long enough, you will win the belt at some point. Yeah, that's what it feels like. But yeah, nah, Cody Rhodes, it's very strange hearing him planning to retire at 40 when we have so many wrestlers who are now either 40 or well into their 40s and they don't talk about retirement. I mean, you've got AJ Styles and Finn Balor. Those guys are never talking about retirement. Matt Hardy's recently signed another deal with AEW, or at least he's contemplating it because he says he's got another few good years left in him yeah. in the ring. Yeah, but he's not even doing anything. But it's, it's just weird that we've got these guys that are a lot older than Rhodes that are still going, still looking for multi-year contracts. Anyone, we... anyone feel betrayed though that Matt Hardy went there, Raw? <laughs> and then we've got Cody Rhodes, the guy, like you said, with the, the WWE really in the palm of his hands, potentially going to be the next guy, the next face of the company. And I, I think it would be such a, 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 a way to go, you know what I mean? You, you, you leave pretty much nothing but a jobber, you come back, whether we think he deserves it or he warrants it or whatnot, he has somehow got himself into this position where he is in a feud against The Rock. I think that shows you just how much WWE think of Cody Rhodes that they put him in this match with The Rock. He's won the Royal Rumble back-to-back. -back. He's about to headline WrestleMania back-to-back. -back. He's going to headline both nights of WrestleMania. WWE is putting everything in this guy and it's just kind of crazy to think that maybe in a year or two 
Cody Rhodes will no longer want to be doing this and walking away. If I was in WWE and I knew about his retirement plan for professional wrestling at 40, honestly, I'd have been thinking, let's just go with somebody else. Yeah. Let's go with someone that's guaranteeing us 10 years. I mean, what do, what WWE want is like an odd John Cena. Someone that they can push to the top and they know for the next decade, he's our guy. Yeah. Cody Rhodes is fortunate. He's been put into this spot. Even Punk said earlier in his big... Uh, one hour interview, he says that he's just come out and he's repeating the same rhetoric, Cody Rhodes. Story this, story that. Change it up, man. Like, it's the same with Roman Reigns. If B puts you in a position for so long, you're going to feel important regardless of how bad you actually are. I mean, th I mean Cody Rhodes is getting two manias back to back. He's working with The Rock and two mania main offence a night apart from each other. I mean, how bad must you be to be not considered a big deal if you're getting that sort of level of push? Now, we buried Seth Rollins recently and said, well, he feels like a bit part player in every feud he's in, but that's 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 the pro. Like, how bad are you? Like, we bury a lot of people here on this channel, but e even someone like Andrade, right? If he was being pushed like Cody Rhodes is right now, he would probably feel a similar stature to him, regardless of how we feel. I do. Well, I think Cody Rhodes is a step above Andrade. Right? Yes, but the point still stands. Does it? I think it does, I. Anyway, guys, this video stands. Cody Rhodes signed a multi-year deal. Looks like he's going to be wrestling beyond 40, but only to 41, so who knows? Maybe he's just going to push that retirement plan back a year. We'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, Beanfog Wrestling. Thanks for watching, and peace.